what's up, what's up? It's your boy, coming back with another video. So, so, I've had a lot going on in the last two weeks. So, if the wind's bad, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hide behind the load and, you know, get this video done, get it out for you. But, two weeks ago, not this past Monday, last Monday, I took the truck and the trailer into the shop for a full gone through go through it all as you guys know you see in the video i didn't like my flatbed so i was going to keep it i'm going to use it i'm going to run it as i said in the video uh so we go in there and i have them go through the whole thing well truck needs some work needs uh new steering gear uh gearbox for the steering sector shaft my boy richter just told me that's what it's called um drag links and I had a leak in the air compressor with the coolant so we got all that fixed now onto the trailer he said man this thing needs some work it's possible to do the work it's gonna take a little time and it's gonna take a little money so the flatbed is up for sale it needs a little work but it's still a great deal for somebody that can do the work or has the time I just didn't have the time so if you're interested, hot shot wedge at gmail, holler at me. So as you guys know, I'm always talking about be prepared, be willing to change, be ready for adversity. Don't let nothing stop you. Always chase your dreams, your goals. And everybody knows I want to be versatile. I'm all about versatility. The more I've done, the more I can do, the more I know, the better. So, got on the horn, made a couple calls. I wasn't ready to drop 15 to 20 grand on a trailer, even 40 grand for what I want. Because I don't know if I like it yet, right? I don't know if that's what I want to do. So, made a couple calls and found a trailer that I could rent to try out what I like. And now back onto that real quick. If you guys have looked at the trailer market, you know trailers are through the roof. So, like I said, mine's for sale. If you're looking for a deal, I'll let your boy. 45 foot flatbed, 96 wide. I've never been, I've been refused to load one time um, just because it was, I think it was vehicles or something that needed split. Hold on. I'm back. It actually needed a full 53. Even if I had a 48, I would have been uh, turned down. So I decided on looking around, I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I like something new. So we did, what do y'all think we did? What do you think we did? Let's go for a dance. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Got my baby. So we went. We ran it a step deck. We got a combo. Uh, it's a 53. Um, it's the Infinity, but I think it's oh no, it's a Fontaine Infinity. Oh uh, man, got yeah, boy, container. Containers. Except mine's cooler. I'll show you why. So we got a 53 foot Fontaine combo. Um, it's got two toolboxes. Found this little thing underneath the here, which I'm gonna turn that into storage somehow. Um, so, now these here are really cool. It's got container locks. So, let me see if I can't set y'all down for a minute. So what you do is, I can turn this here, I don't know if you can see, and that will actually, I got it locked, but you can actually turn that. So. This only has four straps on it, but it's also got four corner container locks. So she's safe. Let's take it for a ride. Now it comes with the heavy duty. It don't come with it. It came with it. The, these are 23.5 per axle. So I can put heavy equipment, big trucks, big trailers, all that on it. Um, those are go up in the middle. Now my favorite part of this whole trailer, as y'all know, 
I did not like the spread axle. But I am not willing to give up a spread axle. I'm not willing to give it up. So, next best thing is an air slide. As a matter of fact, let me start the truck up, get the air built up, and I will show you how this works. It's actually a pretty neat concept. All right, so what we do here is you can see this is the air level level for this. This is to raise and lower it. So we're going to push slide. See that pin full? I, I'm at, I really like this trailer a lot. Um, you know, as you can see, it's a Fontaine, like I said before. Only thing I don't like, I wish it had more lights. And those of you that know me know why I... I'm a light guy so this is our uh this is not our trailer as i said we rented this trailer gonna uh, gonna make sure i like step deck because the next trailer i buy um i'm at the point now where i need to make a decision on my long-term freight I've tried drive van, I've tried flatbed, I've tried step deck, um, I've tried it all. I want to try RGN and cattle pots and all that, but that's not, I don't want to try that for long term. I just want to do it. So I'm at the point now where I need to make a decision. Probably going to be step deck. We're going to run this a couple months and see how I like it though. So this is a new trailer. Hook to the yellow jacket. Now, why I got y'all here? I we're gonna build this truck up. We're gonna build this, and we're gonna go for. We're gonna try to get it in the shows. Now, I want to do different than everybody else. So, everybody else has builders. Everybody else takes it to um, semi-casual or. Fitzgerald and all that. I want the HSD Nation to build this truck. So I've already started. Let me see if I can show you. I got a piece from a subscriber, Adam, I think his name was. These are awesome. So if you guys want something like this, let me know. I can hook you up. Right there. You can see. Boom. That's what we got. So that's it. That's my uh, leather wrapped um, air knobs, air valves. So if anybody's in the plex, you do plexiglass, you do window etching. Like I want to put a new window in here, but I want to do a cool etch design, I think. Uh, anything you guys do, you, know, you make emblems, if you retrofit headlights, like, let's get the HSD Nation hobbies up on this truck. I'm, I'm going to pay for your time just like a regular customer. But I want this truck built by the nation. As you can see, I got these lights here. We're going to need a bunch more of them. Anybody makes them, I'll let your boy. Um, I think I can count on central fabrication to stretch the frame probably. Um, but yeah, we're gonna stick with the trailer or the truck. We're not gonna do the trailer right now. So, if you guys got hobbies that you can put on the yellow jacket, holla at your boy. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. A lot going on, a lot happening. Try to get back on track, get it rocking. We gotta end 2021 with a bang, and you guys do too. So, 2022 is coming we got to get it riding we got to get it rocking but like i said if y'all interested in my trailer let me know if you uh anything you can do help with the yellow jacket paid of course holla at your boy like share subscribe hit that ding ding and i will see you and you and you tomorrow peace